And we have five things you need to know as you head into your weekend. First up, of course, is President Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden's face off last night. Since the start of COVID-19, people all across the country have been expanding their families. But we're not talking about with babies, we're talking about with pets. Governor Abbott set to approve alcohol to go, making the pandemic proposal permanent. I know we were all wondering how this was gonna turn out, both the House and Senate approved the measure. Well, good morning, Allie. Yes, we are still feeling the effects of our winter storm last week. Seems like we can't quite get over it. We just got a road closure late last night. We want you to be aware before you head out the door. Now we're headed down I-40. The historic bar field is getting a new life, set to open their doors in April after a 30-year vacancy. News Channel 10 got an exclusive look at the hotel above their new speakeasy and Italian steakhouse. Take a look. Up this elevator is the 112 rooms that the bar field has to offer. Breaking this morning, westbound traffic between the Loop and Broadway is shut down to one lane due to an ongoing semi-truck fire. New Channel 10 crews are on the scene. Multiple crews are on the scene. They arrived at about 420 this morning. Lots of smoke. If you were here, you can smell that heavy smoke smell just completely engulfing the area. Well, coming up, we're gonna tell you why you may want to adopt a shelter pet today. And Sheldon, you recently adopted a dog and it seems like it's a great weekend to take him for a walk. For this week's new in Amarillo, I'm hopping in the car and heading south. To Canyon. Breaking this morning, police have arrested the suspect in the fatal shooting here at Rumors Bar of 56 year old Cindy J. Rowe. Now, here's what we know this morning. Police did arrest a 25 year old man. His name was Tracobi Leon Campbell, and he was arrested and booked in Potter County Jail. Jayra was the owner of the bar. She was loved by many, and now I am joined by Marcus Stiles, a very good friend of Cindy Jayro. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Absolutely. It seems like she just had an outpouring of love on social media. You guys gathered last night. Can you speak a little bit about her impact on the community? Yes, well, uh, Cindy to most of us was like the mother of misfits. Driving around Amarillo, you may have noticed an increase in help wanted signs. Restaurant owners say this is because it's more difficult than ever to find employees. This year has been extremely hard. You know, you've always needed people, but you've always been able to find some. This year, you know, I can't even get anybody. It's the worst that I can remember seeing it. We just can't find the help to take care of the customers. Restaurant tours say they have plenty of applicants, but very few show up for interviews. The first day out of the eight people that we scheduled to to do an interview, one showed up. I believe the biggest the biggest competition in in the job market is the government. And we're getting phone calls that are saying, hey, I'm not going to come in for my interview because my unemployment just hit. Restaurant owners say this issue is not specific to one type of job as they're struggling to find employees to work the front and the back of the house. Usually we can staff it within a week and find people for both back of the house and front of the house. And this year it's taking uh, a lot longer than that. And for restaurants that are known for their outdoor seating, they say this employee shortage comes at the worst time. March, April, May, they're my busiest months. People are playing baseball, soccer. So our staff goes up about 20 to 25% for the summer months. There's two restaurants this last week that was making people wait at the door because they only had four servers when they usually have eight or ten and they just couldn't seat their restaurant because they didn't have the staff. Penny Commit, News Channel 10.